Chapter 7 On the day Moses set up the tabernacle, he anointed it and set it apart as holy, along with all its furnishings and the altar with its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the tribal leaders who had organized the census, came and brought their offerings. Together they brought six carts and twelve oxen. There was a cart for every two leaders, and an ox for each leader. They presented these to the Lord in front of the tabernacle. Then the Lord said to Moses, Receive their gifts, and use these oxen and carts for the work of the tabernacle. Distribute them among the Levites according to the work they have to do. So Moses presented the carts and oxen to the Levites. He gave two carts and four oxen to the Gershonite division for their work, and four carts and eight oxen to the Merarite division for their work. All their work was done under the leadership of Ithamar son of Aaron the priest. But he gave none of the carts or oxen to the Kohathite division, since they were required to carry the sacred objects of the tabernacle on their shoulders. The leaders also presented dedication gifts for the altar at the time it was anointed. They each placed their gifts before the altar. The Lord said to Moses, Let each leader bring his gift on a different day for the dedication of the altar. On the first day, Nashon, son of Aminadab, leader of the tribe of Judah, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Nashon, son of Aminadab. On the second day, Nathanael, son of Zuar, leader of the tribe of Issachar, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Nathanael, son of Zuar. On the third day Eliab, son of Helon, leader of the tribe of Zebulun, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Eliab, son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elizur, son of Shedeur, leader of the tribe of Reuben, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Elizur, son of Shedeur. On the fifth day, Shalumiel, son of Zerushadai, leader of the tribe of Simeon, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and one-quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three-quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Shalumiel, son of Zerushadai. On the sixth day, Eliasaf, son of Deuel, leader of the tribe of Gad, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. 
He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Eliasaph, son of Deuel. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amachud, leader of the tribe of Ephraim, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Elishama, son of Amachud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedajur, leader of the tribe of Manasseh, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Gamaliel, son of Perizur. On the ninth day, Abidan, son of Gideonai, leader of the tribe of Benjamin, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Abidan, son of Gideonai. On the tenth day, Ahiazar, son of Amishadai, leader of the tribe of Dan, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Ahizar, son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pajel, son of Okran, leader of the tribe of Asher, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Pajel, son of Okran. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enon, leader of the tribe of Naphtali, presented his offering. The offering consisted of a silver platter weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and a silver basin of about one and three quarter pounds. These were both filled with grain offerings of choice flour mixed with olive oil. He also brought a gold container weighing about four ounces, which was filled with incense. He brought a young bull, a ram, and a one-year-old male lamb as a burnt offering, a male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five one-year-old male lambs for a peace offering. This was the offering brought by Ahira, son of Enon. So this was the dedication offering for the altar brought by the leaders of Israel at the time it was anointed. Twelve silver platters, twelve silver basins, and twelve gold incense containers— in all the silver objects weighed about sixty pounds, about three and one quarter pounds for each platter and one and three quarter pounds for each basin. The weight of the donated gold came to about three pounds, about four ounces for each of the gold containers that were filled with incense. Twelve bulls, twelve rams, and twelve one-year-old male lambs were donated for the burnt offerings, along with their prescribed grain offerings, 
Twelve male goats were brought for the sin offerings, twenty-four young bulls, sixty rams, sixty male goats, and sixty-one-year-old male lambs were donated for the peace offerings. This was the dedication offering for the altar after it was anointed. Whenever Moses went into the tabernacle to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from between the two cherubim above the ark's cover, the place of atonement, that rests on the ark of the covenant. The Lord spoke to him from there.